Hey guys, my name is Pierre Joubert. Uh, welcome to Into Fly Fishing, and um, today we'll be tying a brassy. Uh, it's a very effective nymph pattern um, that resembles small caddis or mayflies. Um, it's very easy to tie for beginners and it catches a lot of fish. Run down through the material. Um, we're going to use a scud hook. This is a curved shank hook. Um, you can make use of any brand or, or model just as long as it's curved like that. Um, you can make use of sizes ranging from size 8 to about 18. For the um, weight, we'll be using lead wire. This is um, 0.015 inch. This will just bulk up the thorax and add weight. For the thread, we'll be using UTC Red 70 denier. Um, I chose red just so that you guys can see a little bit easier. In general, I'll tie these flies with brown or black thread. For the abdomen, I'll be using copper brown UTC thread. This is a little bit thin for most um, size flies, but I tie, usually tie these flies quite small. Um, if you are going to tie these flies, these brassies, um, in bigger sizes, I recommend getting a thicker um, gauge copper wire. For the thorax, um, we'll be using two or three fibers of peacock pearl. And then to end the fly off, we'll be using Solaris UV resin. Uh, for the tools, for the thread, we'll obviously be using a bobbin holder. This is just a basic bobbin holder. A pair of scissors. A whip finishing tool. And a UV torch to cure the UV resin. So, to get the fly started, Break off a section of lead wire and make about eight wraps around the shank. Break off the excess like that, and that's your thorax weight. Um, you'll see it also adds a little bit of bulk. So the thorax in general is about a third of the total body length whereas the abdomen is uh, two thirds. So always go for that ratio that will always make your flies look realistic. Mayflies or caddis flies. So attach your thread behind the lead wire. Cut off the excess and then bring your thread forward. You want to leave a small gap between the lead wire and the eye of the hook. Just make two or three wraps there. And now go over the lead wire and cover it with thread. This will just secure it in place. Now wrap your thread back to where your abdomen will start all the way around the curve we'll start it around there you'll see that gives a nice profile now break off a section of copper wire and tie that in with enough excess after a couple of wraps Pull the copper wire slightly so that the excess is the same amount as the abdomen's length. Now you can wrap forward securing that excess copper wire. This will just help taper and form the body. Now leave your thread where your thorax will start and start wrapping the copper wire forward. 
touching turns to create the body. Now right here is where a thicker gauge will probably come in handy on these larger flies or these larger sizes but you get the hang of it you get the idea just touching turns it's fine if you leave a slight gap between them I mean, it's not the end of the world it actually creates or resembles that segmentation fine in these insects abdomen but try and do it as neat as possible But it's not the end of the world if it's not perfect, it'll still catch fish. So wrap forward. Right, when you reach the point where you left your thread, just lock it in with two or three securing wraps. and cut off the excess. That's your abdomen formed. Now choose two, we're going to use two fibers of peacock hurl. Trim the tips so that they're even and leaving a little bit of excess, tie them in where you stop the why this excess you're leaving there um, will just again help you form the bulk you want the thorax to be quite bulky move your thread forward to where you left your um, where you ended your lead wire and very gently start wrapping the peacock hole forward to create the thorax and secure it with two locking turns and very gently cut off the excess. Now pull back all the forward facing fibers, create a small head. To a whip finish, you can use two. And remove the thread. Now in general on most on most brassy um, recipes the flour will be done now, but a recent modification taught me this method. So um, just get a lighter and very gently burn the top like that. Press down the fibers. Be careful not if you burn it too excessively, the peacock will just um, burn off and then your whole thorax will unravel. So leave it like that. Now Place some UV glue on the top of that thorax. You can also put some on the head. Like that. See what my UV glue. And then just cure that resin with your UV torch. And that's it. Brassy, a very effective little nymph pattern. Hope you enjoyed um, tying it. Um, and we'll see each other again. Cheers from Into Fly Fishing.